what's going on and welcome back um when i was 15 i had a set of books called scary stories to tell in the dark what these are there's three books in the series they're just a bunch of short stories they're supposed to be scary i didn't find these too scary there were some stories that were kind of spooky but not really scary um i remember going camping with a cousin of mine i think i was probably like i said like probably about 15 years old and we took the books with us. Not these. These are brand new because I bought these for my son a couple of years ago. But uh, we would take these books and we'd sit in the camper at night or on the campfire. And we'd read these stories and we'd try to like, spook ourselves out. It really wasn't working. But what I really like about these books are the illustrations inside. Um, they got some pretty scary pictures though. Like look at this guy. Let's see if you can see him. There you go. Yeah. They're full of like pretty spooky like pictures you know, like instead of a, a castle I guess and uh, let's see here this little guy right here let's see yeah that little guy just a bunch of like scary like like really disturbing <laughs> pictures in this book that's what I liked about these books so it was pretty cool for the pictures like this is the kind of stuff that if I live like in the Addos family house I this is the kind of artwork I'd have on my walls. So tonight, what I thought I would do is uh, I'd read you a, a story out of one of the books. But before I do that, I need to set the atmosphere in this room. That's better. The story I'm gonna read for you tonight is called The Guests. A young man and his wife were on a trip to visit his mother. Usually they arrive in time for supper, but they had gotten a late start and now it's getting dark. So they decided to look for a place to stay overnight and go on in the morning. Just off the road, they saw a small house in the woods. Maybe they rent rooms, the wife said. So they stopped to ask. An elderly man and woman came to the door. They didn't rent rooms, they said, but they'd be glad to have them stay overnight as their guests. They had plenty of room and they would enjoy the company. The old woman made coffee and brought out some cake and the four of them talked for a while. Then the young couple were taken to the room. They again explained that they wanted to pay for this, but the old man said he would not accept any money. The young couple got up early the next morning before the host had awakened. On a table near the front door, they left an envelope with some money in it for the room. They went on to the next town. They stopped in a restaurant and had breakfast. When they told the owner where they had stayed, he was in shock. He that can't be, he said. That house burned to the ground, and the man and woman who lived there died in the fire. Ah! The young couple could not believe it, so they went back to the house. Only now, there was no house. All they found was a burned out shell. They stood staring at the ruins, trying to understand what had happened. Then the woman screamed. In the rubble was a badly burned table like the one they had seen by the front door on the table was, a, was the envelope they had left that morning. I gotta apologize for the bad reading, sorry. But really those are the type of like short stories that are in this book. That was one of the shorter ones. Uh, they have longer ones, I didn't wanna read a longer one because it's all shitty I was reading anyways. But yeah, these are pretty cool books. Um. If you get a chance, if you don't own them, pick them up. Read them to your kids at night before they go to bed. Maybe they'll have some sweet dreams. But they do have, there's three books in the series. There's scary stories to tell in the dark. And then there's more scary stories to tell in the dark. And scary stories three, more tales to chill you to the bones. No, I'm sorry, more tales to chill your bones. But yeah, these are pretty cool books. They have them on Amazon. You can get them as like paperback the three the set of three in paperback or you can get the hardcover book where they have them all together i want to get that that looks pretty neat now they made scary stories to tell in the dark the movie i think it came out last year okay <laughs> i was expecting it to be something else but looking at the previews i thought this was gonna be a really good movie it's not bad but it's not great, okay? I thought, what I thought it was gonna be was like, they're gonna get some stories out of the book and make them into short stories 
and put them together in the movie. Kind of like uh, Creep Show. I thought it was going to be like Creep Show. No. It wasn't like that at all. It was more like Goosebumps the movie. You know, where they have all the monsters come out and terrorize like the kids and the people that are involved, you know. It was more like Goosebumps. Uh, it wasn't that bad of a movie. I, I was just expecting something else. Like I said, I thought it was going to be something like a uh, creep show where they were going to get like different stories out of the books and make them into just like short stories and put them all together for this movie. But it wasn't like that at all. So maybe, maybe, you see Hollywood always screws the shit up anyway. So maybe if they redo the movie, they'll make it more like creep show and make it a little bit more scarier. I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky. But, yeah, check out these books. They're pretty good. And I will see you on the next episode.